It's yellow spinner here on Penstock channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Lanz. Lanz. And this video is about pen spinning basic tricks. First level of pen spinning. They are also called fundamentals as they form foundation for other major tricks. And it is better to start pen spinning with mastering them. It doesn't matter that much which order you choose to learn them. I personally started with finger pass. Its name is pretty self-explanatory. You basically pass pen from one finger slot to another. And if pen moves clockwise, you are doing finger pass normal or just pass. If it moves counterclockwise, you're doing finger pass reverse. As simple to remember as that. And we make finger pass holding pen perpendicular to fingers. If you do it with a circular motion, it will mean that you're doing one of charge based tricks. For example, twisted sonic or inverse twisted sonic. Don't make such terrible mistake as I did in that video when I learned combo number 4, Zephyr's combo, when I called twisted sonic a charged pass or something like that. So pass is very basic, not that easily done in slots 3, 4, 2, 3, as ring and pinky finger are not that developed as others, we usually use them much less, if not doing pen spinning of course. But that's the only difficulty. Besides that, it is very easy to learn. However, I have a separate video tutorial for this trick, as well for all the others mentioned in this video and many 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 more. Penstock is a channel about pen spinning after all. Next we have Thumb Around, another awesome basic trick which you can flex with simple pen. As well as finger pass, its name is very self-explanatory. You make pen spin over thumb by pushing it with one with a two, with a three, or sometimes even with a four. By the way, did you guys know that thumb round or TA as we noted in breakdowns was the first discovered trick out there? It is also the most popular one. You can see people who have never heard about pen spinning but still can do thumb round. The simple flip ain't gonna, that ain't gonna do it anymore. I'm gonna have to learn how to do those twirls. So, so this I, is called... So Thumb around. Can you type it in the chat so I can try and sound it out? Th oh, thumb around. Yeah, thumb okay. around. Okay. And the real beast to learn is thumb around reverse, but it's totally worth learning, as after mastering both tricks, you can link them together and form such mind blowing movement called thumb around harmonic. Well, as for me, I almost never use thumb around reverse while spinning a pen. Mostly I replace it with fingerless thumb around reverse, as you don't have to use other fingers to push a pen mode, and it gives desired freedom for freestyles. Do you see the difference, right? This is thumb around reverse, and this is fingerless thumb around reverse. A beginner trick, slightly higher level, so enough about it in this video. Next we have a wiper basic trick. The name is not that self-explanatory, at least for me. I don't really understand why such tricks are called wipers. The most basic wiper trick is called figure 8. You swing a pen like this while holding it between two fingers at one tip. And um, yeah, this simple motion can barely be called a trick. All you need to be able to do it is just adjusting grip between fingers. It needs to be tight enough to keep pen from falling down and at the same time losing enough to let pen move like this. And this is the basic of wipers in general. After getting this concept, we open access to an infinite variety of wiper based tricks. And the first one to learn is Infinity. Lately, this trick has become extremely popular among pen spinning newcomers, and there are a few good reasons for that. It is fairly easy to learn, it looks cool, you don't necessarily need a pen mod to do it smoothly. Other pen spinning elements will require you to get a specialized tool. A pen mod, like this, from penstock.net, a pen spinning shop with the delivery to every country of the world. As for Infinity, the best thing about it, you can already link it, for example, with thumb around to get a simple, but such a beautiful move. Infinity to thumb around. First I do infinity up to a point when most of pen's weight goes down, then push it with two to make thumb around. For some reason, nor infinity, neither figure eight are not considered to be fundamental tricks. Though if you ask me, I would definitely give this status so to one of them at least. Yes, to one of them only. And now we are approaching to a heavy artillery. The next two pen spinning tricks are probably the most important to learn before moving to the next level. We're talking about charge and sonic, which is based on charge. To my mind, charge is like basis of the whole pen spinning. We don't use charge by its own in combos, but most of tricks heavily use it. And overall perception. Close your eyes and imagine pen spinning. I'm goddamn sure you imagine the charged based tricks combo. Very basic circular movement in one slot. Charge is a pretty hard trick to learn, I have several video tutorials for it. And at the beginning spinners, you need only one revolution. Maximum two. Don't get stuck with charge. Learn one on or two revolution and move on to next tricks. As time will pass, you'll get the continuous motion and will be able to spin like this easily. But by that time, you probably won't do it. That's kinda lame. 
Valkyrie noob style. There is no need even for beginner to do charge continuously. It's like, let's pretend you learn guitar and instead of playing music in front of people, you just play gamma. Even if it is played wonderfully, master peacefully, it won't impress anyone. At the beginning though, focus on mastering charge and charge reverse in slots 1, 2, 2, 3, and it would be nice to be able to do it in 3, 4. Unpretentious execution is ok. Developing ring and pinky fingers takes time. I have a video on how to make it faster, check it out. It is really helpful, link in the description. Sonic is the first trick which uses charge as its fundament. Well, it is a basic trick itself. Although, do you know why it's called Sonic? Because at the time people thought that it is way too fast. When we do charge, pen spins in circles in one slot. When we do Sonic, pen spins in circles but goes from one slot to another. You can learn how to do Sonic in slots 3-4 to 2, 3 and 2, 3 to 1, 2 and Sonic reverse the corresponding slots. Awesome thing will happen when you connect two Sonics together. If there are two normal Sonics, you can do Sonic Rise and correspondingly two linked reversed Sonics form Sonic Fall. Probably two most pen spinning -y things a beginner can perform. After learning these basic tricks, you can already form a combo, a nice, a real good combo, something like this.